Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another video from Osterham. Today we are building the manor outside the city. This manor here is known as the pity home for the people of Osterham. I'm gonna get more into detail of why it's called that as we explore this place, where I will present to you the lore of this place, which I think is kind of fun. But the Pitti home is one of the only manors that are built very close to the city. All the other manors are scattered around the kingdom. Uh, so that's kind of interesting in its own way. And one of the th key features of this manor here is a small brothel it's hosting. That being said, I will try to still keep today's video PG. So some of the things that I'm explaining might be explained in codes, but if you're old enough, you'll understand what it means. I also want to remind you guys to hit that like button. It is the best way of showing support to my channel and just letting YouTube and especially the algorithm know that people enjoy my content so perhaps promote it to more people and together we can grow this channel here and grow the Minecraft building community. Now let's finish off the time lapse and move over to the tour. The story of the Pity Home starts way back with the Lord Muddard. Muddard ran the biggest oyster company in Osterham, but also the entire kingdom of Gallia. And he had two sons. Uh, the oldest one, Jan, who was not uh, the father's favorite son. He was uh, a rebel, he didn't do stuff, he was not very polite, uh, and really didn't um, appreciate the wealth that his father had provided for his family. And then we had Nori, uh, which was the, the yeah the younger brother, and he was very polite. He was like this uh, wonderful kid who uh, was well behaved. He was smart um, and, and really just wanted to appreciate his father's work and take over the business and all that stuff. And then when it came time for the father to send the company on, he sent it to to Nori and not the older son, uh, which was uh, common in in Osterham. Which makes sense, um, because yeah, uh, probably didn't want the company to uh, to fail <laughs> straight after the inheritance. Uh, so yeah, uh, Nori gained this, and therefore Jan uh, became a lesser lord because he didn't really he didn't inherit his father's proper lord title and the company and stuff. So he was still kind of like a noble, but a lesser noble, uh, as at least seen as a lesser noble in Osterham. Um, but what he wanted to kind of achieve the same kind of wealth that uh, Nori now had uh, and he didn't want to, to be seen as less of a success. So what he did is uh, he bought a small warehouse, this building here, outside the city. Uh, and one thing I want to point out that running a brothel is forbidden inside the city of Osterheim, inside the city walls. Uh, so he saw a possibility here. And so he bought a small warehouse and started a shady brothel outside the city and it did fairly well and over time uh, Jan uh, built the manor here uh, but because of the story because of uh, being the older son who didn't inherit his father people felt, felt sorry for him uh, but also running such a shady and uh, yeah taboo kind of business which uh, yeah a lot of people really looked down upon so um, people call this place the pity home because of the pity that surrounds this entire thing. So that's kind of the lore behind the name here. Uh, so that's kind of the idea here. And over time, like he 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 built up this manor all by himself. Jan is now old, uh, still running this place. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you some of the things here that really just makes you make you feel sorry for Jan, uh, even though it might be his own. Uh, his own work that made him up in this place, but he, he's not really the lord he wants to be, okay. Now, let's start off with this building here and check this out. Uh, I really like this one, it's built on a slope here, so it's kind of, yeah, we have an entrance to the basement on this side, and then we can kind of go on the top here. So, this is the brothel itself, and I wanted it to feel uh, like shady and dirty and and not like high class kind of brothel, uh, but it, yeah, it's not too bad. The walls are a little bit worn down. It's old. It makes sense. Uh, but it's a cozy place, I guess. There's a fireplace and some curtains, red curtains. And then we have some simple separation walls here uh, for, uh, I guess we could call it rent or um, yeah, stuff. Uh, so yeah, we have these rooms here, three rooms for uh, the guests, I guess they could use. Nothing too fancy. 
Uh, so that's uh, this main room here. And over here we have like the master room or the big biggest room and it's even bigger uh, for those who want that okay so nothing too fancy. So that's kind of the main part of this uh, business here I guess. Uh, to the back here we have uh, a door which takes you out to this like balcony thing here which is kind of cool. Uh, but we have a kitchen area to prepare some food and some drinks for all of the guests, you know uh, And also like a small balcony out here just to uh, For the workers here to get a little bit of like a fresh air in between Work <laughs> I guess uh, and just look out the peaceful environment the, ri the river flowing down here and out to the bay It's honestly a really wonderful view from here uh, Upstairs uh, we can go up this staircase here. We have um the workers uh, sleeping quarters so uh, yeah there's a lot of beds here for all of the workers that will be working here um, not the best facilities but I guess it works um, yeah it's, it's a shady place I, I bet these workers are being paid very well uh, so yeah um, but yeah this is their place nice oven here to heat it up and stuff uh, and here's a small area to kind of prepare where they prepare themselves, put on some makeup, uh, get a wash in the tub and, and stuff like that. And then there's just some general storage uh, on this side here. We can also go down the staircase from this place and this takes us down to a small cellar. So down here we have just casks of ale and a lot of them. Uh, which I, I bet it would be sold a lot of up above. And then in here we have this small room here. You can use your imagination for uh, what this might be used as, okay? Now let's go out here and we get to this back area here. We can walk along. It's wonderful. There's a small uh, shed here. We could tie up your horse uh, because a lot of the guests, most of the guests would be coming from the city. So taking a horse would be really nice. Just tie it up here. Over here we have a small garden which is really cozy. Uh, but it's uh, overgrowing a little bit But back in the day this would have been a wonderful garden for uh, the lesser lord, so Yeah Nothing too bad. I like it. And then it's also a little bit of a Yeah patch of field here where he's growing some herbs and vegetables and stuff and Then next to that we have this small building here. This is for the servants of the manor. So if you come in here, uh, just realize I forgot to do the upper part here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, but basically, we have a small workshop area here to just fix some stuff and you know, everything that might be broken and needs to be fixed can go in here and a little bit of storage and stuff. But also all the way through here, uh, we get to the back where we have a small orchard for some apples. It's kind of cute and then you can also go down here and get to uh, some of the fields in the back here so uh, it's partly a farm as well it's running a couple of fields then there's a staircase which wraps around here and it takes you up to where the servants uh, stay so yeah, here we have some storage area and then we have a couple of rooms for the servants like that Another one over here with a tub. It's kind of cool. And yeah, I like these views here, just looking up at the mountains. Really cool. And then we can go back around here and to the front. And we can check out like the main part of the house, the manor itself, this one in the middle here. And here there's a couple of things I want to point at. So we come in here, you can see. Like the plaster on the wall is not too nice. It's kind of fading a little bit um, And in here we have even like a small like throne room or um, yeah o Audio no, what do you call this? Uh, I don't know Yeah, like a throne room thing, uh, but it's not being used of course because he's a lesser lord nobody really respects him that well, so uh, it's a small room he built it of course because he wouldn't feel like a lord, but uh, it's not really being used. There's cobwebs here and the plaster of the wall is falling off So yeah uh, On this side here we have a kitchen to prepare some food for the family and stuff 
honestly really cool. And here we have um, some storage. Then there's also a little staircase which goes down to a small cellar here uh, where we have some more storage. So, kind of nice. Alright, then we can go back to the hallway here and go upstairs where we have um, a small dining room. This is nice. And again, just kind of to yeah tell you more about <laughs> the Lord here. This is a p painting of himself. Uh, he want to have that on the wall, of course. Um, and here we have some sitting areas, like a living room thing, and the master bedroom in the back here. And honestly, this is quite a cozy master bedroom. Wouldn't really complain. Uh, from here, we go this way, and there's a staircase here inside the tower here. And it takes us up to the third floor, where we have another small living room. Uh, we have some storage tucked in the back here. And then we have um, a small bathroom here, like a tub to get washed in and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we have some bedrooms for the kids. Like that. And another one over here. So that is the kids' bedroom. Uh, from here we also have a staircase which goes up to the attic where... Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff being stored in here. Just like that. Nothing too fancy. Uh, and from here we can also enter to the tower, but you can also take the staircase here. So, nothing much happening here, but you can go all the way up here, where there's a small, like, whoops, like a small solar up here, uh, with some great views over the city and the farmlands, and, yeah. Kind of a cozy place. Alright. Uh, that is like the main manor here, and then I want to just quickly run down here and show you um, It's very dark here. Uh, show you the Let's see This final building here, which is like a stables uh, Here you can have like your horses and stuff and it's a small workshop area as well And this is also connected up to this section here where which is mostly just storage uh, all sort of things being stored up here so kind of cool. I like this. Uh, apart from that, we have some walls surrounding this place, just kind of making it like a, an enclosed manor kind of thing. I think it looks awesome. Um, but it's very worn. You can see the plaster is really, really uh, looking old and not super wealthy because he, he clearly isn't. He's trying to be to look wealthier than he actually is. Um, but also like the way it sits here next to like the small hamlet here. Uh, it's quite big. It turned out bigger than I was thinking, but I think it works. Um, and I like the contrast of this building here next to the other ones. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.